I just want to preface this video by saying I do not encourage nor condone the use of cigarettes or weed or anything similar to that. And if you're under the age of 18, you can get out of my channel right now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get the video started. Make sure to like and subscribe, of course, and enjoy. Thank you. Whippets. It's probably the one drug I've ever tried that I'll never do again. Um, and the one drug that actually legitimately scared me. But I think without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and just start talking about what my opinion is on whippets, um, why I'll never do them again, and my experiences and telling y'all a little bit of a story time with whippets kind of thing. Um, but yeah, the first time I ever took whippets was oof, probably junior year of high school. And I was just at a friend's house and their, their mom had some whipped cream in the fridge and I looked and I was like, huh, you want to do whippets? As a joke. And my friend was like, yeah, mine as well. So we actually did whippets and I didn't really get super of the feeling kind of thing i felt it a little bit my voice was a little bit deep kind of thing but it wasn't like super much and i will be completely honest i've never done whippets out of a canister or anything but i really have no desire to <sighs> man it's a good ciggy though um but yeah i've never done whippets out of a canister and i have no desire to um but that was the first time i ever did whippets it was just right out of a whipped cream cam as you can as you might expect and I was just sitting there with friends and we were just doing that. And right afterwards, I was like, damn, that's an awesome feeling. And probably for the next six months, I was just thinking about that. I was like, man, this is a lot, a lot of fun kind of thing. And about six months later, probably, um, I went to the store with my friend. Now, as said, I've never done it out of canister. So we got like two things of whipped cream um, and we did it again. We went to a park and we did it in the middle of the night kind of thing. And that was a lot of fun. I used up that whole canister. And afterwards, you know how I felt? retarded that's how I felt I felt so retarded and I'm just kind of sitting there and I was like oh my god I feel stupid now I I feel like I've lost brain cells kind of thing like it's an amazing feeling I don't get me wrong it's as I said it's the one drug I really really want to do again but I'm not gonna let myself do just because it's one of those things where I'm kind of sitting here and I'm kind of like if I let myself do it again it's gonna get out of control because it's the one thing I can definitely see myself really enjoying even though it's not really addictive per se it's just something that it feels so good you want to do it over and over again even though I said it's not like an addictive chemical like nicotine but it's something I enjoy I enjoyed doing so much just because it wiped me out it was such a feeling I've never really felt before kind of thing it was a rush it was an exhilaration it was the loss of oxygen in my brain so it killed my brain cells um, obviously that's what whippets do and that's the main reason why I don't ever want to do whippets again is simply because oh man oh, I'm glad that didn't land on me a bird just pooped over there <laughs> um, but that's the main reason why I never want to do whippets again is simply because I'm sitting here and I'm like man I, if I if I keep doing this sort of stuff, I'm gonna I'm gonna be stupid. And honestly, one of the reasons why I, I never really want to do whippets again is because after that second time I did it, I was kind of like, wow, I feel stupid. And I I went and watched some Steve O, and I was kind of like, okay, if Steve O said whippets are bad, don't do whippets. Um, I probably shouldn't do whippets, kind of thing. And obviously, Steve O is is now sober and all of that good for him you know what i'm saying congratulations it's a it's a good deal kind of thing but it's one of those things where it's just kind of like wow if if steve-o is telling people that whippets are the worst drug ever then i probably shouldn't do whippets you know what i'm saying which is kind of crazy to think about and that's really the reason why i'll never do whippets again it's just because afterwards i felt so stupid and like usually after I smoke weed or I, I, or I smoke, um, yeah, or I smoke weed or I, I do some sort of psychedelic or something like that. I don't really feel stupid afterwards. I learned something from the experience. Um, or maybe if I didn't just learn, I, I just relaxed and I just chilled kind of thing. I don't really feel retarded. I don't learn anything from taking whippets. It's just mindless kind of thing. I, I don't want to do a drug that's just going to be mindless stupidity kind of thing. Um, and I don't really judge you if you want to do whippets. If you want to do whippets, it's your life. I don't care. Uh, I'm not telling you to do or not to do whippets kind of thing. It's your life and that's your choice. But it's just something that I'm never going to do it again. And as I said, I don't judge. I, I could not. Uh, if you want to do whippets, that's your move. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Granted, I am kind of hypocritical. Um, as I am, because... Uh, 
I am smoking cigarettes, and that's a pointless, stupid drug as well. Uh, I guess, nic yeah, nicotine's a drug, caffeine's a drug, everything's a drug. Um, but yeah, it's it's just kind of weird to, to think about that. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's kind of weird, in my opinion, that I'm kind of sitting here and I'm like, wow, I'm willing to smoke weed, I'm willing to smoke cigarettes, I'm willing to uh, do psychedelics, but I'm not willing to do whippets. And I don't know. It's just one of those things where I've just decided I never want to do whippets again, and it is getting windy, so hopefully you guys don't hear any of that, because that would suck. But, yeah. Man, it is getting windy. I don't know where the speaker is, but yeah, hopefully. Man, it is a cold day out here today. I am freezing, you know what I'm saying? But first thing of the day, cannot complain. But yeah, that's pretty much just why I'll never do whippets again. Uh, my opinion on whippets, I mean, like, it's something fun for sure, but it's something I never really want to do again. Maybe I'll do it when I'm older kind of thing. I won't really care if I'm, like, 60 years old doing whippets because, I mean, like, I'm going to be 60 years old, who's care, Who's going to care kind of thing. But, I mean, like, definitely not going to be doing it in the next couple years kind of thing or in the next 20, 30 years kind of thing. It's just one of those things where I felt absolutely stupid and I did not want to rot my brain cells any more than they're already rotted, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, like, i got to be completely honest. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. Like, I'm pretty stupid if I'm going to be completely frank. But it's just one of those things where I'm going to try to be uh, not doing whippets so I don't get any more stupid, you know what I'm saying? Man, it's a good ciggy though. I really am enjoying Marlboro Lights, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I ever said what I'm smoking. I'm smoking a Marlboro Light today, you know what I'm saying? Hope you guys are enjoying the video, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's the sig, and that's the video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I hope you enjoyed me talking about my experience with whippets, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, as said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram and my book in the description down below. Highly recommend you check both those out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And until the next one, stay safe and peace. Have a great day out there, y'all. Stay safe.